I would think they really instilled in me just what it takes, you know, what it takes to be at the top. Because I never seen that growing up from Victor. I never seen what it, what it is like to be a superstar and you know how to handle situations. And obviously, Cano's ring IQ is very, very good. And I took a lot of stuff from that. And it's something that you just internalize and see, and you know how to do. You know what I mean? Just like Mayweather, you just do it. You know, you just be great just by, you know, you have to have a good feel for the game. And I think I do, especially now. So uh, I'll be probably taking in just those memories of watching somebody that's a superstar and, able, and knowing how to handle it and uh, just knowing how he's so in control in the ring at all times. And that's kind of what I pride myself with. Like, I'm, I'm in control of this, you know, don't let him make, make sure you neutralize everything they're trying to do and make sure that you always do what you want to do and adjust on the floor. Uh, I mean, Amanda Ortega, he was an opponent that was offered to me actually when I was going to fight Luke Campbell. It was like either him or Luke Campbell. Obviously, I chose the Luke Campbell route. So I think it was a good way to come back or like, you know, I mean, like, okay, I was going to fight this guy. Might as well just fight him now. What is this city meant to you? You've been out in San Diego for a little while now. What has San Diego meant to you, being out here around these people, this vibe, all of that? I love it. You know, everybody's laid back, chill. Uh, people give me my space, and, you know, everybody's just very, very kind out here, and it's clean. So, I, I mean, I enjoy it. I love San Diego, and I'm happy to be part of the community. Boxing always comes across as you got to be the tough guy and everything, but over the last year you've really opened up and helped a lot of people through some things. What does it mean to you to be one of those tough guys to be able to talk about mental health and stuff like that? I mean, I think I did it not only for myself, but for you know many people that are struggling with it. And, uh, you know, it's just my position in life. You know, it's the cards that I was dealt, and uh, I'll take on that responsibility, you know, to put it out there and hopefully that it helps change people's lives. and. You know, I'm an advocate for mental health, and I'm always going to be that because I know how important it is and how it could really affect somebody. Have you let yourself think about what your emotions may be like when you step into that ring on April 9th? I know that I'm going to be happy as hell. <laughs> I know that. I'm going to be happy when I'm in the ring. I'm getting more and more happier as the fight is getting closer. Like, I just feel just a different energy, a different feel. I can't wait to just be in there with my little gloves and just whacking the shit out of somebody. It just feels great. It just feels good. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Like, I want to punch you, but I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I'll probably let you go. But, <laughs> let me get one more for you, and I know you're going to answer it 30 times right. here, but what can people expect from nothing, this fight? Nothing. I'm going to do horrible. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. No, uh, you're going to see me just uh, be explosive and do what I do. So... Uh, just keep your eyes right on that screen at all times. Physically, I feel great. You know, uh, obviously it's been a hard training camp. I've been training super hard and you know nonstop, so my body's a little, you know, a little bit sore here and there. But those will clear up the week of the fight, and I'll be ready to go at full peak performance. All right. Uh, the weights you're uh, fighting at 139. Do you feel it's gonna benefit you? Then going down to the 135? I mean, four pounds. I mean, how much can that really benefit me in boxing, really? Uh, I think that I'll be the same way that I would be at 135. I really, I really do think so. Um, I'm, I'm just growing naturally. So uh, I'll be expected to probably walk into the ring about 46, 47, strong, kind of where I walk around. So you'll see me at my best. All right. And how soon or uh, before you think you would jump into a next uh, category, weight category? Just depends on what's out there, you know, what opportunities present himself. Obviously, the 135 titles will be tied up because of uh, Devin and Cambosis, so, and they're going to be fighting twice. They have, like, a rematch clause, so I'll be looking to see what opens up, and uh, I'll be able to fight anybody. Either 140, 135, I don't really care. All right. Uh, and uh, what, what, do you, what would you say it's... Uh, the, the, mo the most change you've had with, uh, with your new trainer? Uh, What's the, the, the biggest difference, I guess? I mean, I would just say maybe communication and chemistry-wise. You know, obviously, Joe, uh, we relate to a lot of things. I mean, me and Eddie had a great relationship uh, ourselves. I mean, we laughed a lot. Uh, but with Joe, 
you know, we're able to have deep conversations about other things other than boxing. So it's been great. It's been a great little uh, training camp. Perfect. And